Well, as you can see, we're at the AC Delco stand and we're standing in front of a Monaro top door slammer. The man who drives that top door slammer is Mark Bellary. And Mark, uh, tell us about the, first of all, tell us about the car. Um, it's, it, we've seen a lot on the track over the years, but it's still a, the Monaro body style is still a very, very attractive car, isn't it? Oh, it is, it is. It's a well-known car. Everyone knows the whole of Monaro. It's a, it's a carbon fibre body on a, um, a chrome chassis built by Murray Anderson in Melbourne. We've got a, a 522 Hemi engine in it, it's all aluminium, with a, uh, a three-speed gearbox behind it. Roughly makes over 3,000 horsepower, runs five sevens at over 250 miles an hour. So over the years, the top door slammer you know, had this massive explosion, this huge growth. Has it slowed down a bit now, or are there still new cars coming through on a regular basis? Uh, yeah, there are new cars with new drivers, and uh, there's, you know, we get between 15 to 20 cars per meeting. It depends on what kind of meeting we, it is, and uh, no, there's always new cars coming out, ultra competitive, it's fantastic. You mentioned Murray Anderson before, I mean, he's sort of you know, the top door slammer guru, isn't he? He is, he is, he's one of the best chassis builders in Australia, and he has now a few cars in the US. He's a lot more of the designing part of it now, he's building bodies and sending them over to America. It's, it's, he's a very good, very smart man. There. So tell us what you're doing here at the uh, at the Australian Automotive Aftermarket Expo. We're here on AC Delco stand here. We're just trying to publicise AC Delco for them and the fantastic sponsorship. It's gone way back through the Holden era. And yeah, so we're just doing our part for them. Have you had a chance to look around at the show at yeah, all? Yeah, no, the show's massive. It's great. We're in the industry ourselves. We're panel beaters, so familiar faces, a familiar company. So, so you're down the other end of the, the yeah, yeah, smash repair guys? Yeah, we've had a good look around. So, But no, we're here with the AC Delco this weekend. So what about the... Uh, I asked this question of Victor Bray before about the current state of Australian drag racing. It's sort of a house divided at the moment. Um, are you confident that things can be uh, turned around and we can get back to having a united sport where everybody's pulling in the same direction and for the good of the sport in general? We're hoping so, we're hoping so. That's, um, it's a hard decision for everyone, but as we all can get along, for starters, so that's where the decisions will be made. And as long as everyone can band together, it's something that a better the sport. It's, it's, we, we need to band together for this one. So how important is it to have that unified thing, especially in terms of the, the, the whole the whole country as well, because now it's sort of fragmented almost on state lines. You've got Sydney and Brisbane on one side, and you've got Melbourne and Adelaide on another on another side, more or less. Um, how important is it for you guys? Because, like I said to Victor, the top door slammer guys have really supported both. Yeah, well, we have to. We're, like we've all got spot, majority got sponsors, so we have to race. We would love to race one championship, which we're trying now to negotiate with. So we're halfway there. Hopefully, we'll know by the end of this month if it's going to be a one full series next year, but with two sanctioning bodies, but one whole championship, and that's what we're aiming for. Okay, well, the car is fantastic. It's, uh, it's, it still looks a million dollars. Good luck uh, at your next appearance uh, in May, and for the moment, thanks for bringing the car down, and thanks for joining us in pit lane. Thank you for having me. No, thanks a lot, mate.